So I'm just going to start with a base. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for this. I like this because it covers like all of the redness in my eyelids. And it is pretty thick so it provides like a really nice base. Just kind of working it around with my brush. I also like to conceal the inner part of my eyes right here. Um, it gets really dark in there and I feel like when I lighten that or conceal it, it kind of brightens it up. Opens up my eyes a little bit more. And I'm just going to take my sponge and just go over it real fast. Make sure it's even. Okay, I'm using the Naked Reloaded palette. Love this so much. I've been using it pretty much every day. Really beautiful shades, kind of warm, neutral shades in here. I like that it has a few matte shades and then a few shimmer shades. Um, I prefer more matte shades than shimmer just because I feel like when you start putting shimmer on my eyes, it just kind of all blends together, but um, I'm going to start with this shade Bribe right here to go all over and kind of highlight. So it is a very light like skin shade, um, but it does have a little bit of shimmer. It's almost like a satin eyeshadow. So I'm just going to put that in the inner corner and kind of where I want to highlight. But as you can see, it really does like highlight the brow bone very nicely in the inner corner. Like it's not too shimmery, but it's just kind of looks more natural. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Blur. This one is a matte shade. It's kind of like, um, like a light tiramisu shade. I'm just putting this in the crease to add a little bit of depth. And I'm going to take my MAC 224 and just kind of blend it all over. This is really a good brush for blending everything. So blend everything out. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to utilize the more bright shades in this palette. Um, this one right here is called Retro. It's a really pretty like flamingo shade. It's like a pinky red peach almost. So I'm going to take this and just kind of pack it all over my lid. So I'm just going to put some on the other eye and just blend it up into the crease. Now I'm going to take this shade called Bucked, it's just like a brown, matte brown. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner and then also bring it underneath the lower lash line. I just watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. And such a great movie. I love Quentin Tarantino movies. And I just thought it was, um, well, first of all, Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio are both, like, hot. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio is, like, an amazing actor. He's, like, one of my favorite actors. And Brad Pitt's just nice to look at. Like, let's be real. Um, he's an older gentleman, but something about him is just, like, super, super attractive. Leonardo DiCaprio's, like, acting style or his personality is just, like very very attractive also so I really enjoyed that movie it was kind of about like the Sharon Tate story and um, Charles Manson and how she got killed but it was like a different take on it so I thought that that was really nice to see like a different outcome I don't want to ruin the whole movie for you but it was it was a good movie if you like Quentin Tarant you kind of have to enjoy his like movie style to enjoy his movies but um, it was good Okay, now I'm going to take this shade called Angel Fire and I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to put that right in the center of my eyelid and 
Oh, the person that played Sharon Tate was Margot Robbie. And I love her. She's like absolutely stunning. Um, but I think they all did a pretty good job. It was a good movie. Okay, now I am going to just go and blend everything a little bit more. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of this um, dark shade called Endgame. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit along the outer lash line. And then the outer lower lash line. Just a tiny bit to darken it up. Same thing on this side. I want this to be like a wearable look, like something you could wear to work or just like daytime makeup. I think this palette could go either way. It's very good for like daytime, but it's also you could like darken everything up and have it be like a nighttime look. But I just want to do something simple today and then maybe later I'll get into some more dramatic looks. I just tend to wear more natural looks, so that's the kind of makeup that I like to do. Blend everything out up here again. And now I'm going to go in with an eyeliner. This is a liquid liner from Physicians Formula. And I'm just going to make a wing. This liner is a little bit more shiny. I usually like a matte liner, but it does have like a lash booster in this. So it does make your lashes longer and thicker, which I do like. I've used this in the past a lot and it does it does actually make your lashes grow and they feel thicker or they look thicker. But I don't necessarily like that it's not matte. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes. And apply mascara. I might put false lashes on, I might not, just depending on how the look goes. Since we're keeping it more natural, I may not. But I guess we'll see once I get the rest of my makeup on if I need it. Um, another movie that I watched was, I think it's Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. That was also a really good movie. I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in... Warm Vanilla. I kind of switched up my shades. I was using Sand and now I'm using Warm Vanilla. It's 2W0 and I like it. Um, the Joker was like really disturbing. I watched it and it was like right before bed and usually movies don't spook me out like horror movies but this one just like messed with me mentally. Like I was just really disturbed because Obviously Joker has a mental illness and that's like something that's real and the the scary thing about it is that there's like people out there that are having these thoughts and it's just really scary. But yeah, that one Joaquin Phoenix was amazing in that. He's actually an amazing incredible actor and he was totally in character for that. I mean, everything he does, I think that he's, like, really in character. That was just such, like, a mind-boggling movie. I'm like, that was just so disturbing. So that's a really, another really good one to watch. I don't think I've seen the Heath Ledger one, but I heard that that one really, like, messed with his, like, made Heath Ledger really depressed. Um... I don't know if that's the movie that he passed away while he was filming, but I don't know. That role is just, it really just messes with me. I don't know why. And I can't wait to see the Harley Quinn movie that's going to come out soon. I think it's coming out in February, but that one should be a good one too. Okay, so I guess I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. I'm using the Luminous, Luminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. And today, this afternoon, I think I'm going to be having like a, 
I don't know what it's called. It's like, I don't know if you would call it a psychic reading, but like I'm going to be talking to someone that is like a healer and I don't know what is it clairvoyant I don't know someone that has like a sixth sense I'm not sure exactly what it's called it's just, it's like new territory for me because I'm not someone that like I don't know if I believe in that stuff or not I mean my mind is open to those type of things but because I've had so many things happen and people pass away that I just don't know if I necessarily like understand it I guess that's a better word so I will see how that goes um, and the only reason I'm doing it is because it's a friend of mine and like I said, I'm very skeptical, but I, um, she says she does a lot with photos. So I sent her a photo of someone I've never talked to her about this person in my life. And it's just something that I want to like get through or something, somebody that I'm having an issue with that I need to just get over and deal with and just have it be behind me. And so I sent her the picture and she basically told me everything about this person, like describe this person to a T. So it was kind of like, okay, now I want to hear more because it was so spot on. <laughs> I was just, I was just like in shock at how well she described this person. So I'm very interested to hear more. So I don't know how that's going to go. Have you guys ever had that done? Have you ever had like a reading or any type of healing? I would love to hear about that. Um, like I said, I'm skeptical, but by what she said, just blew me away. So I'm just applying a little bit of liner to my waterline. It's the Tarte Fake Awake. And I think I'm going to go in with a little more Bucked, that brown shade, just to smoke it out a little bit underneath there. Add a little bit on top and I am going to clean it up with concealer but I'm going to do the rest of my face first just because I feel like I'm looking really pale. I'm using Hoola bronzer and I'm just contouring a little bit. I guess this is my first video of the year. How is your guys' year going? Um, mine's been really good so far. I've had some really great things happen. And um, I don't know if I've talked to you guys since Daniel went to boot camp. He joined the Marines. I think I might have posted on Instagram about it. So his graduation is coming up soon. So we're going to be flying down. And... going out of state i think it's the kids first time going out of state or not state they've been to like washington and oregon but like they've never been on a plane and they've never been like anywhere but washington and oregon so that's going to be really fun we're going to go do some fun things while we're there kind of like a mini vacay as well as like seeing daniel graduate i'm super proud of him like, I feel like this is what he's wanted to do in his life for so long. Like, when he was a kid, he used to talk about joining young Marines. And, um, obviously that's, like, very subjective for a mom. Not subjective, but, like, no mom wants their child to join the military. Um, unless it's what they really, really want to do. Like, if that's what they feel like they're being called to do. So, by him doing that, of course, I'm going to support him 100% and be there in any way I can and it's just I'm very very proud of him for making that decision um let's see blush I'm gonna be using this one I've been loving it's really pretty it's from Mac and it's called ray beam and it's a mineralized blush it's like a very pretty pink obviously most of the blushes I wear are pink but this one's um kind of like a dusty pink it looks kind of pinky peach which me saying that makes me feel like that's what all my blushes are because that's what I like but I like this because 
like I was not wearing this and then I started wearing this and I realized how much it kind of like blurs everything. I don't know. It's different from my other blushes. Like it just almost adds like coverage, but a little bit of color in my cheeks. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but it looks really, really pretty. And for lips, I've been using this one. This is one that I used to use a few years ago, probably like five or six years ago. And it's called Dervish from Mac. And I saw someone else use this and I'm like, oh, I used to use that. Like it was my holy grail. And then I just stopped using it for whatever reason. I think it was still glamorous. She used it and I was like, yes, I remember that. I need to use it. So I've been trying to shop my stash and use products that I haven't used in a while. This one is not five years old, obviously. I think I bought a backup maybe like a year ago. And then I'm using Please Me from MAC. And using lots of different things on my lips today. This is the NYX Lingerie in Cheekies. It just is a lighter, like peachy shade, so it kind of like give some dimension it's a matte so it makes everything matte and I like to wait for it to dry before I put lip gloss on and while that is drying I'm gonna go ahead and use my concealer brush to clean up underneath my eyes I like using just a tiny bit of this it is sort of thick so it does make my lines a little bit more noticeable. I think because it's like a matte and it's a thicker formula, it does, if you're not careful, bring those out. But just a tiny bit to clean it up. As you can see, it does make a little bit of a difference. Just barely any, like hardly put any on there. It's very, very pigmented. Now I'm applying a little bit of gloss. This is the Buxom Gloss in White Russian. And this is like a milky, kind of creamy lip gloss. And then the last thing that I'm using, I've already applied this, but I wanted to tell you guys about it because it is amazing. It's the Lumify by Bosch and Lom. It's that those eye drops that you see advertised everywhere says like how amazing it is and how much it brightens your eyes and actually really does. Um, I think I applied this halfway through the video, but my eyes are seriously so white and I'm a chronic eye drop user. I use eye drops every day. I don't know if it like causes that rebound effect and makes me have like red eyes all the time, but I do get a lot of headaches and I just want my eyes to be bright. So I'm always using eye drops. Um, and then I tried this and it works so much better than any other eye drops that I've ever tried. It seriously works and it says it's better for that rebound redness. So if you haven't tried this and you've seen ads and you're like, okay, like you're not sure it does really, really work. Um, so that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.